Pat, you finish your match there with Jared Hot to, with the pin to take fifth. How important was it for you to you know end the tournament on a high note like that? Um, it was important just because you you want to you want to end your tournament with an odd number, you know, first, third, fifth, seventh. You want to go home a winner, so I didn't get what I came here for, so I had to settle for the next best thing, you know. What has this tournament done for you in the long run? Do you think? Um. Proved a lot to myself, and been talking about countless times how much I had to go through to get here between injury and fluctuating weight classes and not being able to train all year. So all these wins I got were really came down to determination and toughness. You know, I'm used to winning in a lot prettier, cleaner fashion, and uh, this this proved to myself that I can I can get wins if I if I need to with when everything's not. Right, you know, when the circumstances aren't their best, I can still find a way to get them wins. And, uh, you know, they ain't all going to be pretty. But it means a lot to me that I'm still able to, to pull out victories, even though I know I'm not at 100%. What did you learn this year about the jump to Division One? What what Division One wrestling is all about? Oh, man, I mean, there ain't no free points. You know, guys are going to fight for everything. You know, they they don't want to let you go on top. They want to ride you. They, they want to get their point. And, uh when they're on bottom and uh and the most difference thing is uh they're a lot smarter they're a lot more tactical you know they they do their scout reports they watch their film they they, they got an idea of what you're coming at them with and uh they're a lot tougher man it's, a, it's, a, it's the big leagues so it's good to be competing at this level you had a tough match with Nathan Burek there in the Constellation semifinal. so what did you have to do to get mentally prepared to come back for this match yeah I lost that loss probably stung more than all the rest of them because I uh, felt like I had them and uh, I let that one get away from me. So, so I'm usually a pretty guy with a short-term memory. I'll, I'll reflect on it afterwards, but I can, whether I win hard or not the way I want to or lose, I can bounce back. But uh, you know, I kind of, kind of gave my mom a call up in the stands, and she's always got a way of cheering me up. So, you know, I, I got to keep in mind that I'm not just out here wrestling for me. I'm, I got to put my team on my back. I'm putting my family on my back. You know, I'm out here trying to score team points. So I had to, I had to erase that. You know, I had a little, I had a little freak out moment in the bathroom, and then I got over it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, life goes on. Sorry if you touched on this already, but uh, a little deja vu there with Hart and and uh, catching him again. Yeah, yeah. He, he's my only bonus points of the year. So, you know, can't, can't be mad about that, you know. I'll call it caught in him, but, you know, he's he's susceptible to that. He was so, uh, you know, I hit him with my kip on the outside step the one time, and then he kept his leg so far back that he opened himself up for another one of my throws. So, you know, anytime I'm up there, I've said it before, i got got a lot of different options. So, you know, if, if you're going to play with me up there, you, you know, you got to be ready to get thrown or something, you know. What's it mean to be able to finish on a high note 